Hi everyone, it's Olivia from Girly Bunches. I've come today with a video that has been much requested by many people. I'm so sorry it's taken me long, so long to do it, but um, I do appreciate your requests and here it is. So here we go, I do do requests. <laughs> so this is a very boring square. Well, it's a pretty square, but it's much prettier when I put it with all the other ones. And this square goes to make the shawl that appears in my video, my YouTube channel trailer and I have done an actual video on it showing the end shawl. So the pattern comes from a website, um, it's got a, a yarn, it's Drops Garn Studio I think it is. I'll put a link down below to the pattern. It's a free pattern and it, you know, it's for the yarn that they sell but it's still, the pattern's still free. So, you know, you can use it and then make it in any yarn you like. I made it in the yarn that they recommended because it was so pretty and just makes a really beautiful finished uh, item. So this is mohair. It's different to work with, very different. It has all these lovely little fibres which you know do tend to like to knot up with each other if you're trying to undo your stitches. So you know just be careful with it, go steady and you'll be fine. The thing I wanted to point out is that it's quite pricey. <laughs> There's a uh, yeah, mohair silk, you know, it's silk, mohair, it's going to be, it's not going to be cheap. But it's, you know, I get this in 25 gram balls. I don't know what that is in ounces. You know, that's, I use grams. Um, yeah, 25 gram balls. And in the UK, this grey one, which is the actual brand of yarn that the, that the website is for, is £4.60 for a ball which works out at about seven dollars is that about seven dollars us dollars i'm not sure yeah seven dollars thirty ish at today's rate um yeah so 25 grams isn't a lot and of weight wise um seven dollars thirty now this yarn the yellow one this is a different brand it's still the same thing, still mohair silk, but a different brand. And I paid £8.90-ish for that 25 gram ball, and that works out to be $14 at today's rate. So, you know, you can see that this, it's a considered purchase of yarn. So, you know, you've got to really find a product that you really like and want to do. So, yeah, worth it because this is deceptively strong because it's silk it's strong and it's deceptively warm this is actually one of the warmest fabrics I've ever used I mean I made the shawl in the winter time and as I was sewing it together because the pattern calls for you to actually sew this one together not crochet it together I was getting warmer and warmer <laughs> as I was making it so it's I mean it's ideal for winter time because it's so warm it's so light you know it's another layer you can add to you that isn't going to bulk you down so you know just it's a wonderful fabric and I think um, wonderful yarn and I actually think it's worth the price because I've never worked with anything like it before it's you know it's very cobweb ish <laughs> if you see I mean, you can see how I it just sort of it doesn't fall it floats down like you know ugh. and sometimes you can get these little fibers on your face and you know ugh. but yeah I love it totally worth it so I'll stop rambling on about yarn now and I will get on and show you how to do this. As you can see I've made it in a yarn that you will be able to see what I'm doing with but I've done it exactly the same and these are the squares obviously and you will need to make about 55 of these <laughs> and there are some triangle ones as well which I'm going to show you how to do and I think you need to make about 11 of those. So yeah, that is if you're using the mohair. So obviously this, I mean, the mohair square, if I just get that, you can see that's quite a lot different. And, you know, it does, when you sew it together, it pulls out a bit more. So that should be about, let me see, let me see. Yeah, that comes out about 12, 12 centimetres. It should be between about 11 and 12 centimetres, whereas... This one actually comes out at, what's it doing? There we go, 14 centimetres. So yeah, it's not much bigger, but it is bigger. Big enough to only just fit in my screen. So, um, 
yes, what we're going to do, we're going to show you how to make this. So this is the square, and I will link. The, yes, I've said I'm going to link the pattern down below, so you'll be able to see the written instructions. So to start with, we're not going to do the magic loop. I know. <laughs> it's, I know it's not me, is it? <laughs> anyway, we're not going to. We're actually going to do a set of chains because this hole in the middle is part of the pattern and if you pulled this too tight you would have a weird puckering that was puckering in the middle so <laughs> you know yeah that's that hole it's part of the pattern so we're not going to get rid of it so you know how to do a chain if you don't I've got links down below to my playlists which cover all the basic stitches and remember I use British terminology so Okay. There we go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've done chains, eight chains, and then we're just going to slip stitch into that first one and join that loop with that slip stitch like that. So there we go. First bit done. So now we need to make these bits here. So to do that, there are made of these bits are made of trebles and there's two chains in between so to start off with we're going to do five chains one two three four five and that is to replace the first treble and then the two chains to make the gap and then we're just going to do a treble into our first loop our first round so we need eight sections, so we're going to repeat that. So, two chains and the treble, two chains and the treble. So, we should have three one, two, three, and I'm going to repeat that all the way around. Okay, so we should have eight trebles so it's one two three four five six seven eight and then just do two chains and we're going to slip stitch into that third chain that we started off with which was replacing our treble like that and there we go there's our first bit done so we've done this bit here so now what we're going to do is we're going to work four double trebles into each of these groups around here okay so to start off this we need to slip stitch into this first two chain space so that we're actually working inside that that space so you can just see I've just moved that over by just doing that slip stitch so to replace the double treble with chains we need to do four. One, two, three, four. And now we can do three double trebles into here. So I've done a video on how to do double trebles, but just a quick reminder, we literally put the yarn over twice before we start working the stitch. And then we pull the yarn through the first two, the second two, and the last two, like that. Okay, so we need three of those. Like that. So to get to the next group, what we need is we need, if you can see here, there's a little space there, and that's made of two chains. So we're just going to do one, two, and then we're going to continue doing the four double trebles into each of those spaces sorry if I'm going so quickly but I just don't want this to be turning into a massive long video but um, obviously I do want to show you how to do this I want to get on to doing the triangle as well so you can always use that pause button <laughs> that's the beauty of YouTube okay so we've got two groups there with two chains in between and we're just going to carry on doing that, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm just doing the last couple of double trebles into this chain space here. One more. And then we're going to do the two chains 
and just going to slip stitch into that, that top of that the four chains that I did at the beginning like that There we go. So that is our that'll be one, two, third round done, I guess. Or second round, isn't it really? Yeah, so you can see that's that bit done. So now what we need to do is we need to start start doing these petal bits here and then these bits that join up. Okay, so we're going to start doing these petally bits here, and to do that we're gonna do double trebles again but together. So we're gonna do four together, so that'll be on a pattern that'll be written T O G. Um, I've done a video before on this, so I'll put a link down below but to um, show you how to do it in a detailed fashion. But uh, just for the sake of this video, we're going to do four chains because these are going to be double treble and that repl replaces it. And then we'll do the next one into the next stitch along. And basically, to do this stitches together, you just leave the last stitch on the hook. So you don't finish it off until the very last bit. So just work it as normal and um, I'll show you what happens at the end. Like this. Like that. And then to finish it off you then just put the yarn over and pull the hook through all of those loops. Hopefully without getting it caught up anywhere. Like that. And then we need to do six chains. There we go. So we need to do six chains and then a treble into that two chain space that we had down below. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll just move that out of the way so you can see that better. And then you just do a treble into that two chain space there, like that. And then you're going to repeat that all the way around. So we're going to do the, the four double trebles together on top of each of these parts here and that makes that lovely petal bit and you're going to do six chains and a treble into each gap in between and then do six chains again two, three, four, five, six and then continue with your double trebles together in the next group along so I'll just do this one here, like this, leave that last bit on because we're not going to finish that and then just keep going, like so, and then just finish that off. This time we've got five because we've had the this leader like chain group of chains come along and we're going to pull that through all of them like that and then continue and as you can see it makes that lovely shape so I'm just gonna I'm gonna come back and what I've got so to I'm there. just going to do that last chain six two three four five six and then the treble into that two chain space there and then six chains and slip stitch into the top here and we'll get it in here which will finish off that round Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to start making this squared off. So this bit is a little bit tricky to explain, so do bear with me. Um, we are going to be starting here. So at the moment we're here, which is there. So I'm going to do about three slip stitches into this chain, um, six chain space here. So that's one, two, three. I'm going to do one chain and then a double into that same space there. Okay, so to make the edge, so that's where we are now here, we're going to each side has three lots 
of five chains and that's these bits here. Each corner has ten chains. Okay, so as we're starting here, which is sort of in the middle-ish, we're going to do five chains, a double into the next chain space, then we're going to do five chains and then a treble into the next chain space, then we're going to do ten chains and a treble into the next chain space, then we're going to work the side, which will be five chains, a double, five chains, a double, five chains and a treble, then we're going to do ten chains and a treble, and then we'll repeat that, so it'll be five chains and a double, five chains and a dub double, five chains and a treble, ten chains and a treble, five chains and a double, five chains and a double, five chains and a treble, ten chains and a treble, and then we'll do five chains there and we'll slip stitch back into the top of where we've started here. All right, got that? Okay, so let's do this. So we're going to do five chains, two, three, four, five, and we're going to do a double here. Then we're going to do five chains, and we're going to do a treble here. Like that. So we've done part of the side. Now we're going to do the corner, which will be ten chains. And then we're going to do a treble into the next chain space. So if I just hold that down, you can see that that will be there. Okay, so there's our corner. Now we need to come down and we're going to do five, five, five. So we'll do five chains and a double into the next chain space here. And again, five and a double into the chain space there. And then we'll do five. And we're going to do a treble into that space there. Okay, so we've done a full side and a corner there and part. So now we're going to do the ten chains and a treble, five, 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 and we're just going to repeat that. slip stitch into there like so and that's it that is our square so you would finish that off just so I'll just do that quickly and pull that yarn through nice and tight and there we go Phew, so the battery didn't run out, I'll probably run out any second now, so I'm just going to go and charge my battery <laughs> and I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you how to do the half, so that'll be the triangle because this is going to be arranged to make your shawl, so it'll, it's actually done sort of in a diamond shape like that, going that way, so you'll need some at the top because you'll end up with a space like this that you'll need to fill so you'll need to know how to do the half bit which I'm going to show you coming up next. Okay so I'm back now and as you can see whilst I was charging the battery the light seems to have disappeared so I've uh, resorted to turning on my monitor, my computer monitor screen so hopefully this, um, hopefully it's not too grainy and I do apologise about the light but 
hey, I can't do anything about the sun going down, I'm afraid. So, okay, so in the first square, we did eight chains and this now is gonna be the triangle. So we need to start off with six. Two, three, four, five, six. And again, we're gonna make a loop by putting, make just slip stitching into that first chain and pulling that through. So there we go. So before we had, let me just get this, we had eight sections. So we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we need to do half of that. So we we're only gonna be looking to have four. So this first bit, we only want four sections here. Okay, so we do chain five, one, two, three, four, five, which replaces the treble. So that's one, two, three stitches to replace the first treble. And then these two stitches here are the two chain space. So we wanna do another treble into the circle, two chains, a treble, two chains and a treble and then one more two chains and a treble into that circle which gives us one two three four gaps okay so before I slip stitched into the, the chain space but there is no chain space because we're not working around this way anymore, we're gonna to have to start turning the work around and going back this way and then coming back this way. So, before I slip stitched into that chain space, but this time we're just gonna chain four, one, two, three, four, and then turn the work around and do the rest of the, the group in there. So we're gonna do three double trebles into that space there. Okay, so that's our four. We're going to do chain two and then we're going to do four double trebles again into the next chain space and we're just going to keep doing that to the end. We're just about to do the last double treble in there and there we go we've got so we've made half a circle We've done that basically, that bit or that bit. <laughs> okay, so the next bit to do is the petals. So to do that, we are gonna do chain nine, seven, eight, nine. We're gonna turn the work around and then we're going to do the four double trebles together as we did before. So it will be one. So remember to leave that last loop on there. Two. Three. And then one more. four and then finish off by pulling a loop all the way through. So then we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six and the treble in that two chain space and then six, one, two, three, four, five, six and then we're going to do our double trebles together again.
and then finish that off. Oops. I'll do that again, finish that off, one loop all the way through and then we'll do our six and the, the treble and I'll carry on until I get to this last bit here. So I'm just going to pull the last bit of yarn all the way through there and then to finish off like we have here we need to do a chain of six like we would one two three four five six and like on this side we need to just do a one treble into that very first one there so we're going to be working another treble into that stitch there so we've done our six and then we do one treble into there and that is the equip that nine chain that we did there is the equivalent of chain six and then a treble so the treble would be three chains and plus the six so that's the same on that side so now we just need to do let me just show you so we've done that bit I'm sorry I keep moving the camera um, just done that bit so now we need to sort of square it off but obviously this time it's going to be a triangle so for the last bit we're going to chain eight one two three four five six seven eight and we're going to turn the work around and we're going to do one treble into the chain loop here Like that and then we're going to chain five one two three four five and we're going to do a double into this one and then we're going to do one two three four five and do a double into this one and then we're going to do one two three four five and we're going to do a treble this time here and then we're going to do our 10 to make our let's see that, get it fitted into the camera, that's it so I'm going to do 10 now to make that corner 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and then do our treble again into the next chain space like that and we'll do five one two three four five and do a double here five again one two three four five and a double and then this time we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, and a treble into this one here. So the five plus the three chains would be eight stitches. Remember, so that would be three chains, and this, this is five, and that's what replicates on this side because we did eight chains to begin with. And that's it. Let me just cut this and pull this through and we now see that we have a triangle and when you sew those two together against the square you'll see that that would make a flat edge there so if I just show you okay so if I just show you this isn't probably the best way of doing it but this is how I'm doing it right now that um, you'll see that so we've got the, the shawl is made up of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 tr uh, squares and then 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and then you'll need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 of the triangles so altogether this comes to 55 squares and 11 triangles so, 
that's making it with the mohair so that would if you made it with what we've done here then you will see that this would be much bigger so you probably wouldn't need as many so you would need to measure it and see how big you want it to be this um, this pattern calls for you to sew each bit together so you know that is that's going to be quite time consuming but like all good things they're worth it so you know stick with it so that is how I made the shawl and yeah that's that's it <laughs> once you've sewn them all together you do need to just go around the edge and this doesn't call for a, a fancy edge but there's nothing to stop you from doing uh, any edging that you like I've shown you a couple of ways of doing some edging that's entirely up to you this video I made I used this which is a double knit cotton bamboo cotton so you know it comes up much bigger than the mohair square um, what else can I tell you yeah that's it really I'm obviously I'm gonna put all the links down below to things I've mentioned throughout the video I would really love a thumbs up if you found this video helpful it does help the channel if you give me a thumbs up why not subscribe there's always more videos coming and I have quite a few filmed ready to upload so you know there's more stuff coming and yeah thank you very much for your view and thanks for watching and subscribing and I'll be back soon thanks bye